what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Inky Quill and it's time for some grab five now wait you will notice this intro clip from two weeks ago so this is my second grab five using these same items and I've kept this same little clip at the start showing what I'm using just in case you didn't see the video that I did two weeks ago which was a layout that had some um, pink and gold or mar kind of like a fuchsia no kind of like a deep pink and gold paint in the background you might remember it sweet september if you haven't i'll put the link down below for it but this week i'm using five things from my stash which is how i came up with the grab five idea and you have to use them all so i'm using a christmas stamp from citrus twist i'm using this crepe paper almost dead um, sticker sheet that's only got a couple of stickers left i've got some pink fresh studio washi tape strips some rub-ons from Amy Tan and then the final thing was actually a um, rubber word that says September and I used that in my last layout so I replace this September with some white thicker words so pretty much the same kind of idea so this week there's those white thickers they're from um, Amy Tan's latest collection so what I'm doing here is I'm scrapping a photo of Frida and Frida is she's a special bunny she, she it was getting to be dark and she found the one little slither of light that was still coming in from in between the curtains and she was determined to fit all of her body in that little tiny slither and it was just so beautifully lit she looks like a little angel she's not but she looks it and I just had to snap it now this this is a bit of a mixed media experiment I don't know what I was thinking I have a feeling that I had horrendous pregnancy thoughts at this point and didn't really plan this out very well so this is a piece of vellum and oh shake 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 your hearty shine um, this is a piece of vellum and I decided to paint it I've never painted vellum and in all honesty it's quite difficult <laughs> so I'm adding some gold and some teal hardy shine and then this is a white chalk texture I have a wedding hire business where I do custom chalkboards so I've always got these almost dead chalk textures and instead of throwing them out I keep them and just smush them on the table and that's how I get my white splodges so what I decided to do was to paint that piece of vellum I let it dry naturally because I didn't want the heat gun to um, smuffle the vellum and make it all wonky and then I used I originally used a larger hole punch and then I broke that hole puncher and so then I opted for my one inch hole punch and cut out these circles and stapled them on now it's at this point where I'm thinking Adele is this a video that's going to go into the trash is is this a layout that's going to actually work sorry for the camera shaking the rub-ons is making it shake um but at this moment i wasn't particularly liking this layout i had no freaking clue what was going on <laughs> so my advice for you guys is keep going with a layout if it's something that you just don't know where it's going just just go on with it for a little bit longer because I do end up turning this one around with these weird fungal looking sp spots stapled on the side of the page <laughs> so I'm just adding some of the rub-ons there and I decide to go for some golds and teals with this one which contradicts quite a lot to the colors that I picked for the grab five from two weeks ago using these same supplies so you can the reason why I love doing two different grab fives using the same selection of stuff is that I like to show you that you can get completely different looks from using the same things because quite often we we pocket ourselves saying that oh the dominant color in this collection is pink and red so I have to do all my layouts have to be pink and red no they don't lots of the like the companies they have other colors that they put in these collections and you can take out from those and have a completely different look so I'm adding some tissue paper here and I stapled some of it because I was impatient and didn't want to sticky tape all of that tissue paper together and I'm still thinking oh Adele what have you done what have you done 
So I stick this on and it's just, I don't know, it's just not working for me. And then I, oh, and then I have a big discussion with myself about where to put the title and you know, and then I break the title in half. You know what I'm like guys, usually stick and plonk is my motto, but for some reason I was extremely indecisive this day. <laughs> So I'm just popping my title up here because I thought it, it worked well with that um, kind of leads your eye down the page. And I'm seeing if there's any more washi strips I can use. There were some great little words that I liked. So I do a bit of a cluster down on this. I know I do do a cluster down here. Yes, here it comes. So I'm just adding a few bits here, a few bits there. And then I've got, I've got to add something from this sticker sheet. So I add that tiny little love you so much because the gold deer that was left on that sticker sheet didn't really go. And then this is where, this is where I start to regret rub-ons even more. <laughs> so then I go a bit rub-on crazy with all these little rub-ons here and there. I think I'm trying to overcompensate for those circles and I get every turquoise or blue or any gold rub-ons left on this rub-on sheet. And I just put them everywhere. And in the end, I do actually really like it because it does break up the circles. And when I mix it with some wood veneer and some other textured elements, it does, I do really like this layout in the end, but it, it took a while getting there. That's all I'm saying. It, it did test my patience a little bit. So, I really, I really do recommend though, step outside your comfort zone every once in a while and try a technique that you've either never tried before or you've always been a bit nervous to or just play. So if there's, if there's something in your stash that's been sitting on your desk for a while, like that piece of vellum, just paint it, just punch it, just cut it, just do something with it, get it used up. So it was here when I started using the stamp that I started to like the layout a bit more. It became a bit more inky quilly. And I just added some of the generic words like I talked about in the last Grab 5 video that kind of just suited the moment instead of being Christmassy because this is originally a Christmas stamp. And then I grabbed this little star kind of shape that's on the stamp set. And I know I could draw it, but why draw it when you've got a stamp there? <laughs> So I'm just adding some wood veneer now, some little stars. And I had these little turquoise acrylic stars. I think, I think they were from Citrus Twist from a while ago. And I decided to put those on because this layout is quite bulky. And when I put it in the page protector, um, those circles do smooth out. So they don't stay curled up like that. Um, but of course, there's nothing holding them down at the moment. I do try and stick some of them down, I think with the wood veneer, this, this is what made the layout. I really do think the wood texture just gave this layout something that it needed. It was very flat beforehand, but the warm tones of the, the wood veneer and just the size of the little, the little sprinklings of stars and things just really helped balance it out a little bit. So I'm liking it now. This is the point where I like it, <laughs> right at the end of the video. So I'm just doing a bit of a doodly border and the pen that I use, this is just one off eBay. I get a lot of questions about that and my glue. They seem to be the two biggest questions that I get. I am filming a Q&A video tomorrow. Well, my tomorrow, not your tomorrow, because this is for the end of February. Um, but I'm going to be doing a bit of a Q&A series over the next, over, I think March. I think I'll start it in March. Um, and if you have any, I did a video a little while ago asking for questions, but I've got a whole lot of more subscribers and I just hit 15,000, which is so exciting. I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of you. You just, you make my day. You really do with your comments and thumbs up and watches and views and, oh, it just makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, I really do appreciate you all. But if you have any questions for me, if you didn't, get a chance to ask them in that Q&A video that I did quite a while ago before I got really sick last year. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions you'd like me to answer. I'm hoping to do probably a six part Q&A series because you guys asked a lot of questions and I'm really excited to answer them for you. 
So this is the final spread. I really, I really do like it. It's different. It's nice. It's different. It's unusual. If you're an Aussie, you'll you'll notice that quote. It's nice. It's different. It's unusual. Bit different than my usual thing, but I like it. I'll see you all next time with another process video. Bye. <laughs>